Hello, I have a book review for you guys. This is Lemon Meringue Pie Murder by Joanne Fluke. It's book four in the Hannah Swenson series. These are just a series of cozy mysteries. Um, and the main character owns a cookie shop. There's always recipes in there. Used to, I would read. Uh, copy out and try the recipes. I don't bake as much as I used to and it's just clutter so I've had to force myself to stop copying the recipes but the recipes are really good and they're unique. Um, there's also a an index for the recipes in the back which makes it easy to find them. Um, this one was really good. It originally came out in 2003. Um, because of that, the way that they talk about computers and cell phones was just, I mean, I was there, but it's still funny to me now in, you know, 2020, the attitude shift, you know. Um, the only other issue with this is it came out in 2003, and while this copy is you know, like, um, this cover and stuff was in 2018, they didn't update the text, and there are, I mean, it's, like, three times, maybe, there's this character in this one who's, it's developmentally disabled, the word we use nowadays, um, I think that's the word, and they, like I said, it came out in 2003, so they use the R word a few times, but they don't mean it meanly, it's just, the language that used to be used. Um, I mean, like I said, that was 2003. I was around. That was, was nine, ten, was ten. So, I mean, I remember that. It's not inaccurate to its time. It's not weird for the time. But if they were going to update the cover and stuff for 2018, I think they could have updated that. I mean, seriously, that was only used like three times and it would have been really easy to fix. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this one. I was unsure who did it until about halfway through. And even then, I was like, I think this person did it, but only because there's nobody else. Like, I wouldn't have guessed this person if there were other people that might have done it but it was really good i enjoy this series a lot um you don't have to read them in order it it makes the social dynamics a little confusing if you don't but not terribly confusing it won't really mess you up so i read a lot of these out of order and i'm trying to go through and um read through them in order i think this series is still going but i'm not sure um i'll, I'll look here in a minute but yeah so if you like cozy mysteries or baking or both, would definitely recommend this one is set around 4th of July time as well. Um, but I mean, you could read it anytime. So that's pretty much it for this one. Have you guys read this? Do you want to? Do you want to check out this series now? Questions, comments, opinions? Oh, itchy. Let me know all of that down below. You know, I love discussing things with y'all. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.